Tied up in the left wing corner. Grissom reaching for it again and coming up with it. Grissom below the goal line. Slips it in front. They score. <laughs> Brendan Jacque right at the top of the crease. Grissom with some great work down low and found him in the blue paint. And it's another quick start for the Ice Miners. Just a minute 18 into the game. They take a 1-0 lead. Off the draw. Comes back to the right point. Nicholas Age holding into the top of the circle. Flips it down low. Centered in front. Scores. Noah Betis took the cross crease pass, made no mistake, just took only nine seconds off the penalty. And the Ice Miner is out to a quick 2-0 lead. Stone right back into the zone again, getting the power play set up. Archibald, heavy pressure, but he plays it off to Fernandez. Fernandez, left wing circle, right wing circle, the shot, they score! Nico Kaufman, circle to circle pass, Fernandez to Kaufman. 3-0 Ice Miners with 14-14 to go in the first. They're 2-for-2 two two on the power play. All got it back up top. Kaufman working the line. Across ice, left side. Fired to the front by DeCandia. Knocked down. Back to Hall again. Hall fires the shot. He scores! The hard work pays off there for John Hall. He used one of the generals as a screen and is able to sneak it by. Max Barr, and it is a 4-0 Ice Miners lead. That goal coming three minutes and three seconds into the second period. And this will be dumped back in again by Kluczyk. Long lead pass, connects on the wing with Donahue. Donahue moves right in, clears it across, they score! Donahue finds Ben Mello on a, what was pretty much a 2-on-0 in front. And it is 5-0 Ice Mine. Olszewski right wing circle. Try to feed it left wing side, and it'll get deflected. Stay in play. It's one of the penalty bucks attendants. Now a goal by the Ice Miners. Short-handed Taylor Fernandez. He just ripped a slap shot from the right circle past Barr. And it is 6-0 Keystone. This pass does not connect, and the Ice Miners... Hodges was trying to sneak up the left side. It's carried in, though, by Hall. Hall got it down low. Romzik walks in. He scores. Beautiful moves by Austin Romzik, and he was able to shelf it. 109 remaining in the second. It is 7 nothing. Ice Miner. Going after it is Lucas Little. Little feeds it ahead, getting it to John Hall. Tipped over on the wing. Hodges tries to get it in front of the net. And gets it back, and he scores. What a great play between Romzik and Hodges. Hodges finishing it off. Romzik with a brilliant pass. And it is 8 0 with 17 18 to go in the third. Chance to clear here for Keystone, and they'll get it as far as the neutral zone. Off the skates of Jonathan Stickle. Dump back in again by Jack Zielinski. Stopped behind the net and played around off the shelf of the boards by Blankenberg. And at the point, Richmond's going to keep it in after one of the Ice Miners fell. Screen shot. Say rebound scores. Jack Zielinski breaks through as he picks home, picks up the rebound, hammers it home, and it's 8-1 to one with 13.49 to go in the third. And the Ice Miners will take it back with Lesage. Lesage around a jockway. Back to Lesage. 140 remaining in the game. The Ice Miners are going to have two big wins this weekend to propel them into opening night. Spinning and falling is Jaworski. Behind the net, centering, pass, scores! Jonathan Stickle. Well, he's been relatively quiet tonight compared to last night's explosion. Well, it's another nine spot for the Ice Miners with 127 remaining in the game. Stickle with his fourth goal of the weekend. It'll be recovered by Archibald. He'll absorb the check in the corner, tie up the final seconds. And the Ice Miners with a couple of nine spots this weekend. Nine to two last night. Nine to one tonight. As they take care of business this weekend against the Richmond Generals. And their offense will go high flying in the next weekend's home opener. One week from tonight against the Johnstown Tomahawk.